Okay, I'm Greg Miller, it's Ben Scott, and today we're gonna to be taking some film photos in the city. I'll be giving you some pointers, but our main goal is just to get some cinematic footage and make it look as cool as possible on a day that is pretty gray here in Pennsylvania. So, let's go. All right, so we're gonna be going up to that parking garage up there. You can kind of get like an overview of the city, and uh, I think we'll get some cool shots. Alright, so we are on top of the parking garage in probably the most beautiful view of the city and uh, we're going to shoot some film. You guys won't be able to see it uh, just because it's film, but we're going to load it up, we're going to take some photos and uh, there was a guy like leaf blowing down here. Mr. Leaf Blower! Leaf blower. There's no, there's I'm blowing absolutely nothing! Is he just dry, like drying the pavement? No, no, no. But anyways, we're going to load it up, we're going to take some photos and uh, maybe get some, some cinematic shots while we do it. So. Okay, so what I just did there is I loaded in the film. A little tip is whenever you're loading in the film, you want to rack it three times. That makes sure that the film is in the film advance, that it's good to go whenever you close it, because once you close it, it's closed, it's done. And then whenever you're uh, ready to shoot, rack it another three times, because the film that was in the back there, right behind where the, uh, where the shutter is, it would all be exposed to light. So you rack it three more times, that brings in the fresh film, that way you're good to shoot. I'm shooting on uh, Kodak, I think it's Pro Image 100, so it's a 100 speed film, um, which should be okay for the situation. Okay, so we just finished our little uh, our little parking garage sequence. Our hands are so cold that like they're starting to not work properly, and so we're gonna go to the coffee shop here and get a little bit warmed up. Ben, how does that sound to you? That sounds amazing right now. Doesn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna get to it. Not a, much of a coffee drinker, but look at how like that's crazy. That is fire. How's yours? That's amazing. I, I can't it. even tell if you're in the shot. Yeah, I'm in the shot. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself. Nice. Well, cheers to our cold hands and shooting on film. All right, we just got some coffee. We're gonna go yeah. take just a couple more photos, get some shots of the city, and uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. Fun fact is the tilt shift lens is used by uh, architect photographers like this for this exact reason. If you take a look at this over here, um, 
this building obviously is super tall and I can't get parallel with the building to get a good shot of it. So what a tilt shift lens does is it shifts where the image sensor falls in within the image circle, which allows you to almost like straighten out the building using optics. Um, you can do it in Photoshop, but it doesn't look as good. But a tilt shift lens is used for that exact reason. It basically shifts it up that way you can become almost parallel with the building and shoot straight on, even if you're from the ground, uh, shooting from the ground. So I do not have a tilt shift lens because they're very expensive. But in this case, it would come in handy. The cool thing about 35 millimeter film and then full frame cameras, or in this case, a full frame mirrorless camera, what we're shooting on right now, is that full frame is meant to mimic what is captured on 35 millimeter film. And by that, I mean like the image area. So if you look at the, the sensor crop, full frame is considered to have, I think a, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's like, there's no crop. Um, and so what that's doing is it's capturing the same amount of information, the same amount of detail and the same crop aspect ratio two to three as what 35 millimeter has, which is why I love full frame because I started on a, I think it was a CMOS sensor or I forget what the sensor was, but it was a cropped sensor. And as soon as I started shooting on film, I was like, this is incredible. Like there's so much more detail that I can catch on the sides. And like, I, I just wanted that in a digital camera. So when I've got full frame, like these are like cousins of each other, which is really cool. We uh, ran out of storage space on the cards because of all the 4K. But uh, yeah, hailing from the great city of Butler, it's Greg and Ben. Thanks for watching the vlog. Like and subscribe if you like it, because we're going to hopefully do some more stuff like this. So thank you, and classic hand over the camera to say goodbye. Just kidding. Just not. Which one is it? it